Hi kids, me Kylie Rose. Happy Pride NYC 2015. I heard that all day today in New York City for the 2015 Pride Festival. Holla, hey. Um, so how you doing kids? I'm doing fabulous and I hope you are as well. Um, so some news, yay, as of June 2015, the Supreme Court has ruled same-sex marriages to be a nationwide thing. So yay, victory. But on that note, we may have won the battle, but we have not quite won the war. Um, and it's going to take some time. It is. You know, it's taking us time to get this far, and it'll take us a little bit more time to get to the next step. But, with that being said, let me just say that I am thrilled and excited and thankful. Um, I am thrilled that my husband and I can now be recognized as equal in those two word relationships of same sex you know, relationships are now recognized by the Supreme Court, by the judicial system, as equal to the rest of the citizens of the United States. And I am excited and thrilled, you know, that I can say I'm married now and not be ashamed of who I am and not be afraid that the government is going to pull some funny thing you know, be like, oh, well, sorry, you don't have the same rights, you know, because we do. You know, and I'm thankful for those who have been involved, you know, over the past 50 plus years that have been a part of, you know, making, making history get to the point where it is now and making history further more so, you know, within this month um, to be able to have those rights. Um, it's, it's amazing. But again, I say the battle... The battle is won, but the war is not over. First things first. There are some things that we need to discuss on the real. Um, you know, we expect the rest of the world to, to support us and encourage, or at least the rest of the country, to, to see us as equal and to respect us. But there's an issue that we don't address often, and that is simply we don't respect ourselves within our community. We have so many nasty sayings and so many crude and cruel and unnecessary things that we say about people within our own community. You know, whether it's a gay man saying something about a lesbian or a transgender or another gay man not appreciating a man who does drag and assuming that, a, you know, a gay man wants to be a woman you know, who does drag. And that's not always true. You know, yes, there are some that decide, I want to be a woman and I have sisters that I support and I love, still the same, just as if when they were doing drag, just drag, you know. But there are men who, who think, oh, I can never be with someone who does drag. They don't understand it, you know. And I think that's where a lot of our issue comes from, is we don't understand, because we don't take the time to understand and get to know people and respect them and appreciate them for who they are. Every, every single one of us is beautiful and amazing. You know, we have all these cliques and these names and these categories within our own community that goes for lesbians, gays, transgenders. I mean, there's so much disrespect within our own community. And honestly, honestly, how can we expect the rest of society to let us fit in if we can't respect one another? I mean, seriously. So we have to start doing that. If we want to be appreciated and respected and considered equal completely, at least for the most part, in society's eyes, we have to respect within our own community. And if that respect is not within our own community, we're not going to get to the next step. We're just not. So with that being said, you know, we've come so far over the last hundred plus years. You know, and society in general and times are changing. Things are changing. Welcome to 2015. I know it's, if you've been living under a rock, I'm sorry, but it's 2015. Um, and things are changing, but there's so many more issues that we have to address and there's so many things that we have to change within our own community before we can expect, you know, before we can honestly have the rest of society go, oh, they're the normal people too, they're just like us, you know? So it's one of those things, we have to understand and respect one another and I'm going to say it and say it and say it and say it because, you know, 
But it also boils down to, you have to love yourself. You can't love yourself, as RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? You're beautiful. I'm fabulous, I know it, and I think you're fabulous too. I don't know any of you, or all of you, I know some of you, but I think you're all beautiful and fabulous, and that's all I'm going to say about that. We are beautiful people, no matter who you are, gay, lesbian, bi, transgender, or any other form of fashion, whatever you want to call it. You are beautiful and you are amazing, and own it. Own who you are, because you know what? We have to. If you want to if you want to move on in life and you want to get somewhere in life, you have to love yourself and you have to love one another. So let's spread the love because you know what? We have overcome a big big struggle. And it's not going to get easier 100%. There's going to be some things that we have to do and there are going to be issues that we have to we have to overcome. But you know what? If we stick together, we'll do it. So on that note people, Again, happy Pride 2015. Hey, okay, for real. For real. And always feel free to inbox me, message me. If you have my number, you want to talk. Listen, we have to encourage future generations. We have to. Because they see what we're doing. And so does the rest of society. They, they're looking at us with a magnifying glass. And they're going to now. And you know what? Let's build each other up, not tear each other down. For real. Much love. Again, happy pride, people, okay? Mwah. And um, I'll be back with you soon. Bye, people. Bye. Mwah.